but um, you know, the great thing about knowing these guys is that these guys are actually in the in the world of yachting, and and ultimately, uh, I find this sort of information fascinating for me because it helps with my obsession. We're glad we just bought this one yeah. off the shelf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nice to have one built. I was going to yes. knock out another one for you, but you know, you beat me to it. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to head down and meet my mate Al and uh, Cindy Niebauer down at uh, the local boat ramp down the road here, they've uh, got a beautiful Sea Wing 1260 and you know, this thing's absolutely gorgeous. Haven't uh, really caught up with them for a while, probably have a beer on board and have a bit of a bit of a conversation about what their plans are for the next few uh, few months because I, I know they're planning to head out into the South Pacific. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to the next hour or so and uh, I'm gonna head down and, uh, and catch up. All right, guys, I'm here on uh, Pleiades, which is Al and Cindy Niebauer's new Sea Wind 1260. What an absolute cracker of a boat. We're here having a chat, having a beer, and uh, it's a pretty relaxed affair. It's a bit of an overcast day, but the lighting in here is amazing. So, how are you guys? Pretty good, mate. <laughs> Oh, great, great, great. We are fantastic. fantastic. It's been a pretty big summer, hasn't it? It's been oh, a it hot summer. It's been hectic. Uh, yeah, they've had a pretty hectic time. But uh, Alan and Cindy have just bought this uh, beautiful cat back from Vietnam, and uh, he's brought it back in October, wasn't it? Uh, we arrived back in Sydney, sort of in November. In November, mid, yeah. Yeah, mid, in no, yeah, end of October. He was able to sail at home with uh, with family, with uh, with Annie and uh, and your. Son our son in law, Kenny. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah. A, what a bonding experience that would have been, mate. <laughs> I was, no, well, we've already sailed a lot of miles with Annie. Brilliant. And as Brilliant. when she was a kid growing up, our daughter's 29 now. Yeah. She told me she's nearly 30, so that's scary. Cool. But, um, and so we both our kids, Annie and Vance, our son, he's a little bit younger, um, they've done a lot of ocean sailing with us oh, as okay. they grew up. And so yeah. when we rang her, we had a, um, we rang her and said, hey, do you want to? Kenny was coming because he hadn't been to sea, so he wanted to have an adventure. Brilliant. And Annie was committed at work, and she ended up changing her mind and saying, yeah. "No, I'll come." So she flew to Singapore and met us up there, and sailed oh. down to Perth, wow. which was a great adventure for a young married couple to do yeah. together. Because they're only recently married, aren't they? Yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah. So, so how did you guys get into sailing? How did that all? How did this all happen? Because I've known you for a long time, <laughs> and I, I don't think I've ever heard the backstory. Oh. I like the backstory. <laughs> yeah. No, backstories are too so long. Three twenty well, years. Let's go back in. We can go back in time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've known you for twenty years. Yeah. And yeah, seen been, you build your business and yeah. grow your kids and. Yeah. It's it's, yeah, it's, it's been a, it's been an adventure in, yeah. a, in oh. itself, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You are an adventure, Ross. I like it. I love my life, Cindy. You know that. <laughs> it's complicated, but it's it's fun. Yeah, it's a bit of a fun we're a bit one. that way. It's complicated, but it's very good. But uh, having a brand new boat in in town has drawn a lot of attention. I think. Don't really? you think? Well, I, yeah. It's it's funny because we've been here. We've lived in the area for nearly twenty years, and we had we've had our last. We had a previous catamaran here for fourteen years that yeah. we really enjoyed, and um and. And that's been good, but yeah, since we've been here, we have um, quite a lot of interest, and we actually have a charter company in the mm -hmm. Jarvis Bay yeah. and this coast, and yeah. um, we've sort of been based here doing that for a while. Mm -hmm. This is our fifteenth season, and we decided to get the new boat um, for quite a few reasons, yeah, yeah. Um, among others, so we could sail around the world down the track. Way to go! Um, yeah. But which wouldn't be the first time. I no, no, it's not the first time, <laughs> but. It's always good to go again. Yeah, it's so. always good to have another crack at it. It is. When I first met Alan, I was yeah. 20 years old, yeah, and right. he was leaving on a small, a 25 foot um, monohull, a yeah. little top hat 25, to sail to Canada from Sydney or Newcastle. And um, after two weeks, he said, Hey, I've fallen in love with you. Do you want to? get married and come with me and I was wow. like, hey, that sounds like a great wow. idea. So, Baptism of fire. Yes, we did that. The, I, I the parents swim. weren't quite so agreeable. No, they were pretty, uh, they were, yes. they were. If I, were your, if I was your father, I don't think that would have yes, happened. Yes, my father was, uh, was a little quite tentative about the whole program. Well, it obviously all worked out though. It yeah, sure yeah, did. Yeah. So we sailed to Canada, got married and left two weeks after, a week well, after. A week after we got and, married. So we'd known each other 10 weeks when yeah. we got married and then we left on a, um, well, I was late in the season because I wanted to be in Canada for the fall, yeah, and um, and so we left Australia in April. Um, 
uh, yeah, 1987 that was Charging and um yeah so we Incredible. pretty much did a nearly well it wasn't was non-stop great. we made three stops across the pacific <laughs> And so we had Cindy's first ocean trip, uh, first wow. sailing trip was from Newcastle oh. to Opur uh, um, in wow. New Zealand. Wow, that's pretty yeah. full on. And, it was, um, yes, it was. So it was up in up in um, Vancouver Island, wasn't it? Quite yeah. Island or something. Like that. Yeah, we went up to yeah. to that area. We're in yeah, the um, Gulf Islands yeah. in yeah. Canada. Oh, we ended up living there for two years, yeah. and um, and we cruised that area had a baby. bit. We worked and had went Annie. to school. Yeah, we had our first had Annie baby on board. board. Yes, baby yeah. on board. So she was she'd been on boat since she was five days old. She was great. Yeah. She lived in a little basket in the quarter berth. It was great. So you're up in the Inside Passage, weren't you? At, um, yeah, we were in, in the Gulf Islands. We ended up yeah, living beautiful. for two years. Yeah, that spent a bit of time gorgeous. there. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. absolutely beautiful. We were there last year and it was just so nice to go back. Yeah, yeah. it's heaven. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. Janet and I spent a lot of time up, up on Vancouver Island, up on the north, up in, yeah. up in the Brown Archipelago and wow. Great Bear Rainforest. Just magic. Yeah. yeah, absolutely magic place for paddling. Yeah. Yes, and the sailing had been incredible like, as well. I don't know how you paddle up there with all those currents. Oh. Yeah, that, there's a lot of current. Amazing. It is, it is a lot of current. It's a lot of, it's, it's a lot of planning around yeah, the tides yeah, and the currents yeah. and that. So yeah. Yeah, we spent weeks up there, and, and it's amazing. absolutely beautiful. Yeah, mm. beautiful spot. It is. So that's a good place for sailing, I guess. And from there, where did you head from there? So then, after our time there, we had Annie, and then when she was about three weeks old, we our visas were up, so we headed yeah. down into the states. And Important we, fact there. And again, it was yeah, late in the yeah. year. It was towards um, I think we left in middle of September, um, and we sailed down the west coast of the states down to um, San Francisco. Yeah. We visited some family there, good friends of ours um, that lived there, and um, and we had some time there. Let Annie get grow up a bit and get some shots, and yeah. you know, do that stuff for. And then we ended up in Mexico for a year and a half doing Amazing. delivery jobs. Well, so funnily enough, I'm coast. going there next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. You highly recommend it. Yeah, 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 that's right. We were right. in La Paz for yeah, a year, beautiful. based in La Paz. Well, that's almost where we're going. We're yes. going down to Loreto, so yeah. it's not far away yeah, from there. Yeah. So we sailed down there and we worked there for a while because we were always penniless. And, yeah, um, yeah. When were we young? Yeah. That's young. That was, yeah, we're all yes. like that. But it's fun. It was so good. In so good. And we had Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, so after Baja, California, we went across the mainland and sort of coast hopped down there and worked again for a while before we left to come back across the Pacific when we oh, decided but to then go. then I got pregnant. Again? Yes, again. Yeah. That's Vance. So, yes. Yeah, that's Vance. <laughs> Always causing that's, trouble. Yeah. <laughs> that's our, yep. Wow. So he's been so, keeping us on our toes. Yeah, he has him. and still yes. is, I think, isn't he? Yeah, yeah definitely. He's, he's great. He's, he's 20, a wonderful nearly son. He's 28 now. Yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. And then we start, so I got, uh, we started sailing back across the Pacific, um, and I got as far as the Marquesas, but yeah. I, I was six months pregnant by yeah. that stage, and it was pretty harsh on us. We had a boat, really, so really bad passage <laughs> when you got a six month pregnant yeah. ba- wife yeah. with a little baby. Yeah, another little baby. Yeah. And um, no wind in a little boat, we've hardly had a motor, it had an outboard, but yeah, we yeah, probably yeah. didn't have any gas yeah. for it. But, um. <laughs> but it was pretty cool because Alan got to sail. Alan had planned to go on a single-handed round-the-world yacht race. Yeah, right. So it actually gave him some time alone where he yeah. could um, just test himself a little bit and get yeah. ready for yeah. the, um, the So, the And race. I think that's the critical thing is that this is not just about you guys sailing together. This is your life, mate. You spent it your kind whole of, life. It's really it? weird because it yeah, kind of is our life. Like my life's boats. on the mould. Yours is on the... <laughs> On the, on the water, yeah. yeah. Sadly, mine's in a you know degree really tent. Love Yours in a... I love going on road trips. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a great point. Yeah, yeah. it's funny. Yeah, but, it is so, funny, isn't it? Well, the girls left and then I had 5,000 miles where I had to be in high, high mode. Just, you yeah. can't sail a little yacht very fast. No. So I had to, you got to sail them efficiently. Yeah, so we... Anyhow, we got back to Australia and then we launched the campaign to race around the world. Yeah, which been... you managed too, didn't you, yeah. Cindy? In yes. With two no, little kids. She's very versatile. Did all the marketing and everything as well. That was very, yeah. very hard. Making one, sure yeah. the helicopter got plenty of looks at, at Al. <laughs> yes. yeah. I sold a lot of T-shirts. Oh, man. God, you wouldn't go back to being 20 again, would you? Oh, no. no. <laughs> well, by then, it was some hard work. Yeah. When we, well, by then, I was, I was about 28. So then we started yeah. a program. We arrived in Australia with three years of a lead time to get yeah. to build a boat yeah. and sail it to the States for the start of the 94 BOC Amazing. challenge. Amazing. And and 
Yeah, we did some Remarkably, of that we, we got to do that. Cindy mm. sailed 8,000 miles on that boat. And yeah. I started. Well, that was an animal. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I love yeah. this boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah that's, I, it. that's my favourite boat. No, it's my second favourite boat. Yeah. But um, it was a wonderful boat. A 50 yeah. foot a, monohull. It well, was yeah, in the early, in early you days. You all got too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. And, and re in reality, you are a purist. I know you are. Yeah. And that's where I sort of wonder where this fits in. Well, it was really weird because when I was young, I was a purist. Our yeah. little boat didn't really have a motor. That racing boat didn't have an engine. Yeah. It, I sailed around the world without yeah. a motor. All yeah. of our sailing was done um, with celestial navigation, so wow. we used a sextant. Yeah. We didn't have yeah. any um, outside communication with mm. anyone. We yeah. had a, a receiver that we used to listen to the weather on. Yeah, yeah. Cool. just that was it. So yeah. it was pretty. And then this is the boat Cindy got onto. Unbeknownst to her, it had no nothing on it. Yeah, it had nothing on no, it. And, we, um, we had manual like paper charts that we did all the navigating on. And, yeah. so and, and I think that's the thing is that people don't sort of rely on that as much these days, even though you're no. required to carry charts. And it's all know, about the electronics yeah. now, yeah. isn't it? And it it is. Fails. And, and, and you know the confidence what? has gone out the window, and that's oh, yeah. totally. getting back to basics. Is yeah. Well, what I find, and I always really appreciated having the foundation, having those fundamentals in place. So when you're looking at this beautiful technology, there's a gorgeous 12-inch plotter over yeah. there, which I love, yeah. and AIS and yeah. all of that, yeah. and it's it's a wonderful system, yeah. and you know, really wouldn't want to be without it. Um, but but even when you're using those things and like angles of boats coming towards you and things like that that you can see in your mind that you're clear and yeah. safe and then you can look at the AOS and check that. Yeah, there's like but a back really... office um, yeah. side to it, isn't yeah. it? We used to have in the bank. I used to work for a bank and that yeah. whole back office came flooding back whenever there was wow. a blackout. Yeah. You know, no yes. one knew how to, how to process a okay. credit card. No one even yeah, knows what a click click is. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's um, that's the important part about sailing is that yeah. nobody's learning the yeah. hands-on stuff. And it is and a bit of a worry because I, you do use those things that you learn mm. by doing it that mm. way. You can do it this way now, but I think it's Definitely. just different. This, yeah. What I find is having that background of angles and azimuths and all of that helps you see what this thing's doing and yeah. thinking and yeah. you can yes. understand it more. Yeah, yeah, that's really interesting. That's a good point. That's yeah. a, that's and the other thing you guys are involved in, you do a lot of project management as well, don't you, for yacht builders and for yep. anyone wanting to build a boat. Like, I haven't invited him up. He's been up to the mole, Al. Yeah, I've he's, seen the mole. He's seen it, and I think he's shit himself when he saw it. I haven't been up there. Cindy's not game to go up there because she knows it might mean work. Because anyone that comes up there actually gets hand of the hand of the laminating roll not or something. For me. I feel no. guilty. I don't call by my. Don't, oh, look. look. The last couple of times you've been by, I haven't been there because I no. sneak out. You know how I, you know, yeah, I come yeah. and go as I need to. But it's yeah. very important. Yeah. But um, you know, the great thing about knowing these guys is that these guys are actually in the in the world of yachting, and and ultimately, uh, I find this sort of information fascinating for me because it helps with my obsession. Because I have an obsession to build yes. a boat, and every time I walk in here, I think. Oh, Christ, I'm, I'm just demoralised. <laughs> well, don't be, because what you're doing is pretty satisfying. <laughs> it, it is and incredibly it satisfying. Yeah, yeah, it really yeah, is. Yeah. And, and we've built boats, and I've built boats. Yeah, and yeah, and you get it. I, I kind of, yeah, I, I feel we do, like... But we're glad we just bought this one yeah. off the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> I was, yeah. It's nice to have one built. I was going to knock out another one for you, but you know, you beat me to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's it's been good. But yeah, yeah. Brilliant. no, it's yeah. absolutely beautiful, guys. I just, uh, I've got a couple of photos I'll flick up as we chat away here, and uh, and just to give you a feel for the way this boat's laid out, it's absolutely amazing, and, and it's an incredible sailboat. I believe you've found out already that you sailed it from Vietnam upwind for like seven thousand miles. Well, or something. Is that right? it was a bit over six thousand miles of yeah. old passage, yeah. and but we had more than like it was. I think it was until five thousand miles mm. before the wind gave us a bit of a break. Yeah. It was upwind the whole way. Yeah, and it, it did it handled itself really well. We had a pretty good average speed yeah. and and um and it sailed high and pretty yeah, quick. Okay. But we had to slow it down a bit because we we're in a lot of chop, you know, yeah. we're coming down through the Indian Ocean. Yeah, we sailed to awesome. um from Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam to Singapore yeah. and then out through the Sunda Straits, which no one really does that voyage. Yeah, um, right. Why is that? Because oh, it's just a long way. It's yeah. a bit remote. People yeah. like remote. to stay. It's, it. it's, it's remote it's and, and it comes out. So we had 2,000 mile yeah. leg, yeah. which isn't, you know, but it was kind of in a remote part of the world because you're just heading due south in the Indian Ocean for a thousand miles before you've got any chance of coming back across. And then you come down towards Christmas Island or something. Well, we, we saw Christmas Island, so we sailed past it and we were just hard on the wind. 
yeah. sailing past yeah. Christmas Island. And That's some a long it, way to go into the wind. It was amazing. We saw a sail, and I called the guy. I, I was sort of like, oh, there's a yacht. Wow. And um, and I called the guy on the radio, and he said, oh, which boat are you after? There's 20 of us here. And right. apparently the um World Ark Rally had just left Christmas oh, Island okay. so that, rally. that lunchtime. Yeah. And they were just behind our, this guy must have, I think he was a catamaran sailing pretty quick. And, yeah. and and the one we saw, I think, may not have even been in the rally, but right. he was just scooting off on his own yeah, interesting. and the other boats. But they caught, they answered us. And, so um, you just latched on to him because you hadn't all, seen anyone for three weeks. Oh, it's just always fun. No, we'd only been at sea. Well, I would have. I'd be desperate. I'd be desperate. I'd be desperate. I'd be I'm just daydreaming funny. looking yeah, at this island classic. going, gee, yeah. it's higher than I thought. <laughs> And, um, it's like a sad puppy dog. We have someone yeah. to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I, 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 I'm still from the. It's, it's actually quite rare to pass a yacht at sea yeah. under sail. Yeah. You see ships and you yeah. things, and if you're on the world travel route, of course you'll see boats yeah. occasionally. Yeah. But we were in, a, we were out of the shipping lanes, out of the yachting. Um, we were out of the trade winds, so there, yeah. you know it wasn't a normal yeah, passage that normal, you'll do. Yeah. And um, and so, but we had a time constraints, and I didn't want to go all the way through Asia, yeah. and then down the yeah, other side of Australia. Yeah. So for us, the 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 main logic that dictated that route was that we had more chance of sailing the boat rather than motor sailing yeah, at home. Yeah. And either way would have been upwind. Yeah. And um, and I just thought, you know what? If I get out there, I can foot off a bit. We can yeah. sort of pick our angles, wow. and and then eventually pick Big up some voyage in a brand new boat. Too. Well, yeah. that's kind of. Pretty yeah. cool too. Yep. Straight out of the box, we launched the boat and had a, uh, a, good, a, good a week trial, commissioning. Sea trials. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Well, you were there for that. Too. Yeah. Cindy. Cindy was committed back here, so yeah. she couldn't do the passage, but she yeah. was over there for that couple of weeks. We're in the final oh, phases great. of the yeah, finishing up. Awesome no, it was, to see that. It was. It was really. So nice. the boat wasn't in the water, was it? With no, no. It was in the factory. It was yeah. covered yeah. in dust. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can and imagine. It's it. a typical scenario where it's all. Yeah. It's a mess. Yeah, it's a Friday you know, frenzy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a bit like that. But yeah. You know, they were pretty good. They were yeah. very good to work with, and it was yeah. very organised. I believe they're very good. Yeah. And and yeah. so. Yeah, it was a good. Thing. And and we certainly have a better a better plan organised for the. The winter this year. Yeah, yeah. What, well, what's the plan? For, what's uh, the plan? So that, that's that's one of the key elements of this. Is <laughs> I really want to chat to you about what is the plan for your? Because some of you've been sailing around Jersey Bay every day. Yes. You've been flat out. It's been yeah. Wonderful. And uh, and you just need a bit of a break. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> what been, we because I think that. Al's actually been on the boat since about mid October. Well, or since September. Yeah. September. I think I've had yeah. three weeks ashore. The day it was launched, he's had. He's had a few yeah. days off the boat, I think yeah. that's it. So. Yeah, that's, so we've been busy since we got home, because we got home and we had to finish our survey classifications yeah, for the yeah, um, yeah. AMSA and the yeah, Australian yeah. survey requirements. So we had to finish all those things up in Sydney and then get the boat ready for our yeah. season here, yeah. where we um, do day sails and overnight charters and yeah, coastal brilliant. adventures. Yeah, yeah, cool. we, we went get to, to Sydney that. for New Year's, though. That was yeah, really exciting. That'd be we had awesome. a wonderful yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So that was cool yeah. to be able to do those things. But brilliant. probably one of the main, well, one of the reasons that led us to um, upgrade, our upgrade. Our, we had a we had a sea wind. We had a, our previous catamaran yeah. was a sea wind. Also. It was a one thousand, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a one thousand. Yeah, right. So and it, it was, by the way, the nicest one thousand in New South Wales. It <laughs> in was the immaculate. World. <laughs> it was beautiful. In the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, probably in the world. It yeah. sold in four minutes. Yeah, so it was. A, it's a something. pretty. You got to see this thing. It was absolutely it was immaculate. It was Thank beautiful. you, Ross. Yeah, Thanks. It was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. I paddle past it every morning. You just drool at it and now I'm drooling even more. I tried to paddle under this. <laughs> you must day. paddle early. <laughs> yeah. We don't we yeah. don't get we up very early. No, no. Yeah. Anyway, so, but yeah, so, so ultimately so that's why you our, stuck our grand with plan is yes. we wanted a boat that was a, a a bit bigger for full time liveaboard cruising. Yeah. Yeah. And our other boat which we loved and had a great time and it was good with the kids were younger, it was good for us, it was good for our little business and we enjoyed it. Yeah. And it was really reliable. So we had good Brand awareness yeah. without sounding cheesy. No, no, that's, and so that's it was pretty fine. easy to think. Yeah, we'll go for another sea wind. Yeah, yeah. that aspect of it was kind of easy. Because they um, started locally too. Didn't yeah, they, 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 they were hundred kilometres up the road. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Hmm. And, and, uh, and uh, you know, obviously, market forces have, have pushed them offshore. Yeah, but would be the case. By the same token. <laughs> Um, the quality level, I think, has actually yeah. gone up. Yeah, it's yeah. gone well, up markedly. Oh, yeah. yeah, yes, and the design elements yeah. that are just the company. Well, the company's grown, so huge. the product's grown, yeah. and and this 
this is a it's quite a simple layer yeah. but it's it's very oh, it's well amazing. done it's and amazing. it works so it yes. works really yeah. well yeah. so are other boats other yeah. brands yeah. So that's, that's cool lots so of that. other brands yeah. and we came back to the australian yeah. And and saying yes. that, we've done some really nice passages in those other brands. Exactly. Oh, yes. we, so yeah. we picked boats up in Europe and. Yeah, yeah. So what's the attraction? Given you're a purist, yeah. What's the attraction to the cat? Come on, just lay it on me now. Do you know? Because I I I'm not a purist. Uh -huh. I'm happy to accept like whatever comes my way. Yeah. And I've got a little trailer sail around the corner here. Well, yeah, that's a great However, little boat. It is a great little yeah, boat. So yeah. what was what was the emphasis on or what was the why we the stayed focus? with the catamaran yeah why well the original reason we went for a cat was because we live in a very shallow creek area and um beautiful waterway out there but yeah. it's only six inches deep yeah, sometimes yeah. Yes. Can be shallow, and yeah. right now it's not very deep yeah. and um and so it was and i always thought i'd build another 50 footer that was a derivative of our race yeah. boat that yeah. we raced around the world in and that was my dream boat you lifting raced around yeah. the world yeah, yeah. well we we did it no, yeah, it was together. a solo yeah. circumnavigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no way about yeah, it. It was, it was, a, it was a joint venture. <laughs> yes, but yeah. once yeah. Vance Not was interviewed on television, yeah. and this interview when he was three, a journalist goes, So, are you going to sail around the world when you grow up? And he said, We've already done that. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped on the bandwagon. Yeah. Good on him, and he has. Yeah. I mean, he, he has. Well, he's before he was so even born, yeah. the kid was sailing, wasn't he? That's right. Unbelievable. And yeah, he's a good he's a good sailor. Yeah, he it's is. Very good. When yeah, he wants he to, loves it. Uh, he yeah, has to get on yeah, he can just day. jump on a boat yeah. and go. Yeah, and no, I think that's and important. that's important. I'll, your family is basically a sailing family. Many advanced, uh, yeah. they probably wouldn't call themselves sailors, no. but they put. No. I do notice that they write. You know, if they do a CV or something, their yeah. interest is always sailing yeah, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> stuff like that yeah, because yeah, they, yeah. They, they, I think they understand it's a big part of their life. Oh, it's a huge and it's been a good well, a good experience for them to have, yeah. which has made them who they are. Yeah. Well, it teaches you and, a lot of life skills. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, just sure. about, I know for me personally, it's yeah. taught me a huge amount just about communication. Um, yeah. When you're in confined quarters with one other person yeah. on board. Is that why you bought a cat, is it? So you can have like a whole <laughs> each. Well, <laughs> it's yes. very good when you've got kids yeah. because they, they have their own cabin yeah, and that's wonderful. Cabin, yeah, and again, no, if you've got it. visitors, yeah. It's it's just nicer. Yeah. Yeah. It just gives you a bit more space. Yeah. Aesthetically, I still see a nice yacht heeled over, yeah. going to windward. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing to see. Yeah. And but I think for us living aboard, getting older, also, yeah. um, the and to be can't honest, all the to be anymore. honest, a forty foot cat, your average speed on the water is so much greater yeah, than good, a yeah. monohull. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's comfortable. You can, yeah, we, at the yeah. time when we had we, we got a gale in the Great Australian Bight oh, yeah. and we had 40 knots, 40 to 50 knots that yeah, night. Wind, and the boat yes. took off and it just felt beautiful. Yeah, so back to your question, what really keeps us here with this boat, I think I should have, we, I think everyone should have three yachts. Yeah. So you've got the expedition I'm yacht where you go somewhere, <laughs> you've got your multi-hull for the, the particular yeah, area yeah, you might yeah, want to cruise, yeah. and then you've got your 15 foot day sailor in the cupboard. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, I've got to be honest, I love my little boat, but I love, my knees aren't coping with crawling around the deck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's something as you get older, you can see why people are moving into bigger boats like this. You know, yeah. Yeah. Yes. It is yeah, so, so much more comfortable. Yeah. I remember when we first got our, uh, our other Most catamaran, Las Brises. Las Brises. Yeah, yeah. We sailed to Sydney one uh, one day, and we um, we were sailing up there uh, on Christmas uh, on Boxing Day through the fleet of the Sydney to Hobart yachts, yeah. and the, and they were all coming towards us, us. Wow, and they all had crazy. like guys in full wet weather gear yeah. hanging on the side, yeah. like looking really wet and, and uncomfortable. Yeah. And here we were. I had a cup of tea, and I had it. Seated on, on the table. table, and we're watching wild oats. And yeah, we're, in our, yeah, yeah. we're in our shorts and t-shirts, yeah. and these guys were all in full wet weather. And the cup of tea didn't even spill, did it? It did not move. No, that's the comfort that's a level is alone. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It is such a difference. Yeah, that, and that, I think and, that's the thing, and, and that's why we're, we're seeing such a big rise in the sales of them. And oh, the yeah, mold cats, and cats in general, yeah. Mm. yeah, and it is, and yeah, and yeah, the little boat that we sailed on when we first went to Canada, it actually is. The same boat as that little one oh. sister ship there with the green cabin. Oh, that boat yeah. circumnavigated it's the in 1972. Same. That's amazing. That's that particular boat. boat. Yeah. yeah. Now, but so I ours remember, was super tough. Yeah. I remember being at sea and I had to have one hand holding on to the bench so that I wouldn't fly around the cabin. The other hand 
was on my toothbrush and I it was it was a it was a dilemma. How am I going to get the toothpaste on my toothbrush? Because I had to hold on with one hand and brush my teeth with the other. Brilliant. It was <laughs> it was always a dilemma. Yeah. Every morning, every evening, how do I get the toothpaste on the toothbrush? So, I think we all have grand ideas about doing that sort of sailing, but in reality, it's a, it's a totally oh. different thing. Oh it? yes, yeah. and this is just wonderful. I and mean, you guys, the right side of the brain hadn't yes. taken over yet at that <laughs> no, stage. That's, that's right. No, yeah. And we were young. It obviously yeah. did when you got to Canada. Yeah. People but... <laughs> our age, well being being so much older now, yeah. like it's fine doing that when you're young, but yeah, yeah. for this age it's yeah. just it's important to look after yourself yeah. oh, and absolutely. to look after your health and well being and your mental health yeah, stuff. Yeah. And it's um it's just so much more less stressful. Yeah. yeah. You know? Well yeah. that's good to hear because I think that's the I think I think like Janet and my dream is to have a boat of this size. Mm -hmm. And so well, in the world, man. Well, yeah. I've got, I've got half of one. We've got or the same 40 dream. Forty percent of one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the, the dreams. Same I, you don't have the dreams I had. <laughs> <The same laughs> I have dreams about picking out shards no. of fiberglass out of my arms. And, but yeah, I've done that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I think we all uh, we we get all sort of grandiose about sailing in the world, but the reality is, you've got to make it happen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the it's result. a yeah. yes. Yeah. And, yes. And it's not as easy as people imagine. No. Nothing ever is, no, I think. And, and anything that's worthwhile is yeah. not easy, yeah. always. Uh, exactly. So that's well, what we'd like to do this, yeah. uh, for, for so, Pacific Circuit. Well, that's my next question, is what oh, the Pacific yeah. Circuit, is it really, is it you guys just uh, taking off and, and just getting away from here or is it ba you basically want to try to get engaged well, and engage other people into it as well don't we you? we do yeah. and what we want to do this winter yeah. um and um is to go we will sail to new zealand in april yeah. and um join the pacific circuit rally which is organized by island cruising for right. new zealand oh cool uh, and 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 they they so they organize a a, a, a rally route each yeah, year yeah, yeah which is a different route each year, mm -hmm. generally. But this year, it's, it's a... It's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah so the yeah, idea of having people thing. on board yes. our boat yeah. to yeah. share some of those experiences yeah. Um, yeah. is tying it in with a rally is a good thing because yeah. um, for someone who's interested in having a boat or they've got a boat or they just want a bit more experience, mm. they can work with us um, to... Yeah. A, we take care of the logistics because we're already there. Yeah, that's um, right. And if you join a rally, yeah. it gives people that perspective. If they get to meet other people, they that's see other yeah, different right. boats. Yeah. And, and I, I could spend weeks on a boat with you because I find you hilarious. Well, we'd like to join. We'd like you to join us. <laughs> but for part I, of that I think the cost. important thing is that you, it's it's that backup of skills that you guys have got. Yes. But the thing is that the confidence to take a boat of this size to somewhere like Fiji or New Zealand is a totally different thing than sailing around Jervis Bay or around Sydney Harbour or whatever. Yes. Yeah. You know, you've got sure pro provisioning is. and logistics. And, and the other thing too is learning how to to deal with situations um, without having that that uh, marital sort of side of it either. I think would be yes. really great for me to build confidence. Um, yeah, well, it's really important to work together as a couple. Yeah. And. Um, that's that's really key to it. If you, obviously a lot of guys are driven, I'm driven, and I yeah, drag Cindy yeah, everywhere yeah, with me, yeah. and to an extent. Not necessarily drag. No, I'm not yeah. as driven as I was, yeah. but she's she's good company, so yeah, I, yeah, that's you know, right. I wanted yeah. to come. Oh, exactly. And yeah, and and, right. and I think it's really important to do it together. It's yeah. really satisfying when yeah. you sail somewhere. Even when we leave here and go to Sydney. It always feels great going yeah, there. It yeah, can be a yeah, forty mile yeah. passage or a And I think having someone having miles. maybe not just two of you and, and like for Janet and I just to go and rent a boat in, in Croatia scares the hell out of me. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's the sort of thing that really does because I know it's windy and I've got to moor it differently and there's yeah. all these other issues. You just need to drink a yeah. bottle of vodka before you uh, embark on your voyage. Yeah, well, like that's, that's what I've heard. Right? <laughs> but I, I think that's the key, is having yes. someone that's got control of their own boat and you're there yes. as a... Well, I was in Croatia six months ago working with a client who yeah. bought a boat over there and yeah. he just wanted a, a 
a helping hand for that early days. Yeah. And we did a, we yeah. picked the boat up in Italy and did some shakedown and Brilliant. sea trials and then out to Croatia. And, and what was the goal? Was his there. goal to become more confident? Well, was he's the... he's got a big yes. plan to sail the boat yeah. from Europe. He's a young Aussie guy. Yeah, okay. Really nice young guy, and he's yeah. into surfing. And he wanted to, he lived in Asia when he was a boy yeah, with his parents. The world, yeah. And he he Brilliant. wants to what a dream, yeah. Mate. So he wants to sail it out towards um end up in asia and yeah, go surfing yeah. and Fantastic. so he's got a plan Don't be all. and so it's mm. fun to work with those yeah, young guys yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and um and what was really nice is he wanted he and he involved his parents in it they actually came over and joined the boat and um but so is that the plan things. this year is you're basically planning to go, mm. yes. to go on the rally yeah we'd like where we wanted what and what open the boat the up for couples or for yeah ideally want to experience. it's an yes. ideal scenario for another couple to join us yeah, if they've got plans to go yeah, sailing yeah. or if they just want to have an adventure yeah and, cool. and we can help them hmm. um well, like, just go out for a day on this as an adventure <laughs> yeah. just... well we want them to go on an ocean passage on yeah. yeah well yeah. there's room Which and like really me fun. and cindy can just go cruising and we'd enjoy of course it you could, yeah. but We've it's still nice got to share the experience yeah. with yeah. someone yeah, else, exactly. especially and someone who has <laughs> a, wants a, a unique, valuable experience, yeah. and that's what this is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is. It's and there aren't a lot of people yeah. doing what we do because, I, like I said, I've done yeah. it. I do it with our other clients, yeah, yeah. and 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 that's always fun because they're enthusiastic and they're yeah. interested. Yeah. But that's and, on their boat. Yeah, yeah and that's on their, on their boat. boat. Yeah. We've done it on our smaller boat. We did some of that, but not to the same level as we yeah. can yeah. with this boat because it's a blue water yacht. And why not go blue water sailing? Oh, yeah, why not? And, and the and other clients have got their own boats, whereas um, you don't have to have your own boat to come on board with us. You can just actually jump on board. You don't even need the experience, exactly. and you have a really yeah. amazing uh, yeah, so we can work I mean, with I, I, valuable I would experience. much rather come on this than go on any holiday. <laughs> this thing's just gorgeous. So what we're doing, we're opening our boat up to for people to come on board, and participate as crew yeah right. and um so we really want to share that experience with them yeah and nice. so they'll be involved in every level of the sailing and yeah the well, and the they you know, provisioning to. i guess yes. at the end of the yeah day. well the idea as is that if people want. are interested in doing this sort of thing in their own boat yeah. or 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 just future float around on different people yeah. on a future boat or a yeah. current boat <laughs> then they can work with us or we can work with them, whatever, yeah. and they can enjoy the experience. Yeah. We've taken care of a lot of the logistics and um, make it um, easier, I guess, yeah, yeah, um, for yeah. people to access the experience. Yeah, and, and cover the risk, really. Yeah, well, I think that's the thing. If you can know that the boat's already there, the logistics are out the window, aren't they? Yeah, Just, and then yeah, when they're on... work's really done. Yeah, the boat and having Alan on board, and who's already boat, yeah. done all the, had all the experience. Yeah, can, yeah. Yeah navigate if I need to and I can steer because you're, you're not just the you're not just along <laughs> for the ride either eh? you're happy no, to, I love the you're experience. happy to work on the sails as well Cindy because that's part of your life isn't it it's your life yes and I'm not uh, I'm not a gung-ho sailor I'm not really strong um, but I love the experience I'm, I'm fine I, I love to put my hand up and try anything yeah and I also uh, really enjoy that time at sea that's just it's like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, it's just yeah. time to breathe. Yeah, we all know that, don't we? It's, yes, it's yeah, really it's nice. so good for you. Mm, it's yeah. very healthy. Very so you've got the right boat. I mean, I guess it's like a boat of your dreams, isn't it? It's <laughs> well, at the moment, it's our perfect it boat. It is We've perfect. had a few iterations of perfection over the years. Yeah. But um, but this Being is... Being a monohull enthusiast, I think, uh, and a purist, I think. Yeah, I think it's great to see you come to this conclusion. Oh, no, it it's a pretty valid <laughs> conclusion too. Like I love, anyway. I love, I love, I still love all the boats yeah. we've had, and, yeah. and yeah. you know nothing beats a nice yacht doing its thing, yeah. aesthetically and on yeah. every level. But um, cats are just really competent at yeah. sea. They're they're more comfortable. Yeah. Um, and you've got the advantage of long legs, you know, it's a 41 yeah, footer that yeah. can go quite fast, it's fast yeah. and um, in the right conditions mm. and, and, and it's manageable fast, it's not scary fast, yep. it's just good solid daily runs that you can make and good average speeds and that's important yeah, when absolutely. you're travelling, you want to do it in a good, man, good timely fashion. Yeah, there's nothing like having a bit of speed under you. Yeah, so we've broken the trip up into about 10 different parts Yep. and um, what we're um, hoping is that we can share those 10 different sections with uh, with a different couple. With uh, participating crew members. Yeah. 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 People so come on board as crew. Some of them fly over New Zealand and meet you yeah. and yeah. 
Yes. Do a week to Fiji, perhaps. Correct. Yeah, or two weeks. Like a, two weeks, yeah. the, the longer ocean passage legs would probably encompass a fortnight because yeah. you want to spend a bit of time together orientating yeah, and yeah, training. Yeah. Not training per se. We're, yeah, not a, yeah. we're not a sailing school, yeah, yeah. No. but we've got to work with people so they become yeah. familiar and confident. So you've got to work with them and, and, and sort of help them understand, I guess, if they want to participate in, in that trip planning and provisioning you can get yeah, all, yeah all, all of that it becomes shopping. it's not just the sailing it's um, not no, weather that. forecasting yeah. Building the confidence without. Yes, how yeah, to just even pressure. live on board, go to the bathroom or cook a meal. Yeah, or, um, yeah. It's all, all, all of that. It's a nice bathroom, by the way, I have to say. <laughs> that that hole down there, that's beautiful. Oh. Yeah. No, it's, it's pretty like a hotel. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bit like yeah. a hotel. It is a bit like a hotel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's nice. Right. And it's not like one of those massive boats where you'd. You're going to have eight people on board, is it? It's only no. It's only we we, be small. we want to work with yes. people privately nice. in a coaching sort of environment. Yeah, so I think that's a case. Yeah, but it really is. It's that coaching style of yeah. working yeah. together. It's a coaching yeah. environment. And like yeah. we can well, sail, I can sail the boat by myself, and yeah. other people can too. Yeah. But it's nice to do it with other people because it's a bit easier. Oh, for sure. Um, Working together and teamwork's a good thing. Yeah. So all of that, but, but the way I know, even with um, Janet and I, when I ultimately finish my boat, she's concerned about heading off on a big trip. Mm. Yeah, mm. and I think if I could come in to fly into um, the Yasawa Islands and spend a week with you guys, which, yeah. which will happen by the way. Yeah, it sounds like we're. <laughs> oh, it's going to happen. I'm sorry. It's already. It's yeah, already gonna happen. It. I'm sorry, but you're stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Whether you can handle a week with me. No, that's all right. um, with but, Janet, yeah. But yeah, Janet, Janet's, um, you know, when we sail, we sail a trailer sail and we're, we're getting experience, but mm. the whole package is not as easy to put together. And I think that's the problem. And having yeah. a boat of this size, you know you're going to fly in and you guys have got all that background experience. Mm. And yeah. to just work on charts with you would be fantastic for us. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just to work on and weather interpretation in a new area. That's, well, the beauty of doing it, like you can go to a school and learn anything. Um, and you can read a book, yeah. all of those things. But yeah. if you're on a boat yeah. and you've got the interest, yeah. then suddenly it's real. It's mm. happening. Real life. It's happening yes. in real time. And the scenery's good. And it's all yes. relevant. Yeah. You know. Oh, and so. most people learn the easiest by by actually experiencing. Yeah. yeah a yeah. lot of people re will learn <laughs> by reading a, a textbook or yeah. looking online. But I think most people learn the learn the most they can take in absorb the most information if they're in the environment and can learn oh, but what absolutely. it does if you've yes. read the book or if you've done a course and then you go sailing in this sort of environment and you have that experience it ties it all together so yeah. we're takes, not trying to circumvent yeah. yeah it yeah. takes your fears away because yeah well, and that's the important these, thing for me these strange fears are yep. dissolved because it, oh they're not it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah. it's like anything that's new is a bit daunting yeah. sometimes but it, it and it, and it's always a challenge. Like this, it's a, it's a, it's the dream to go sailing around the world, yeah. isn't it? I think a lot of us have yeah. that. We all have yeah, that. Do, you know, yeah. I was motivated yeah. when I was a little yeah. kid, yeah. Mm. and 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 so that stuff's in you, and you, and you want it. It's an opportunity to go and. Mm. But to take that next step is a very different yes. story. And, and isn't to, it? to take that next step without it being potentially a nightmare either, yeah. instead of the dream, yeah. is what we really hope to uh, experience with uh, with some people. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Just to make That's it not to say you won't nice. get rough conditions or no, scary conditions no. because that yes. you can't manage, you can't control the wind or the waves. Yeah. Um, and, and that's but you too. can but Life the whole is experiences and you've got to work through them and that's what that's what the yeah. sailing and yeah, ocean yeah. voyage yeah, is exactly. like at the short life and all of these experiences happen within yeah, it. Yeah, within it, yeah. Um, and it's and you you move through it and yeah. you um, you end up coming out with a really uh, a yeah. stronger team building whoever you come on it with yeah. you're going to actually be a, have a lot stronger bond with oh exactly so yeah. for your wife or your partner it's actually going to bond your relationship with yeah well as well. in a more controlled environment <laughs> yeah because I know yes. when Janet and I sail again we often remark upon how we talk to each other when we sail and it's not often all that pleasant no we work on that ourselves I yeah, must say. yeah well cindy likes please and thank you all the yeah. time and sometimes when it's dark and it's yeah, raining yeah and you can't that see. stuff goes by the way so. oh yeah, yeah. No, but, so. but in the and same breath like oh, i'm married to a northern english woman who demands <laughs> please and thank you yes. <laughs> but a lot of that anxiety in those scenarios where it's yes. a bit difficult or it's mm. a bit hard is preempting it 
You know yeah, what I mean? That's like, right, yeah. One of my, my job, really, when I go to sea, it's yes. safety management yeah, yeah, and exactly. risk mitigation. That's what we do. Yeah. It's all about yeah. controlling the environment so yeah. that everyone's safe. And you've been on, and like, it's important the, you've to been be on comfortable. like the One Day Globe um, safety. Yeah, I'm this. You're the safety guy for Australia, right? Well, yeah, for the, the whole southern, southern Ocean. The Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> exactly. The Southern exactly. Hemisphere. Exactly. I mean, sounds rather great. Everyone's going to do risk mitigation at you. Yeah. So, yeah, so I've worked yes. with the last two editions of the One Day Globe. For that, that as a safety consultant, yeah. yeah. But but um, in the same breath, um, it's good to be comfortable on board. I'm not manic about it, like no, clipping no, on no, all the time, no, because be manic. you have no, to be no. in the mode where you can live and yeah. be safe. Yeah. On those occasions, you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. But a, still live comfortably on board, as if you're living your life. You're not constantly in that fear oh, mode yeah. of oh, I've got to stay clipped on, or I have to have my lifeguard yeah. on all yeah. the time. I like. <clears throat> I have to have yeah. my whistle ready. Um, we actually learn to live very comfortably and. Uh, well, I could think of nothing board, better if I was going to buy a boat or build a boat like I am than having a week with you guys just to <laughs> to take the pressure off me having to know everything. I think, and that's the important thing. I mean, Janet would like yes. me to see some watching somebody else do it. Well, it'd be good or for be her. involved in it. Yes, and I think yes. that's the key for me well, as, a, as a married couple because I'd like to stay married because <laughs> yeah. it's too expensive not to be married. <laughs> well, right. but it's all yeah, but it, it's that's all so about true. being on the same track, and you don't have to like Cindy same enjoys way, it way. for different reasons that I do. Mm. So I'll 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 be I'm focused on the sail trim and our yeah. course and our angles and all of that because I'm yeah. after maximum efficiency. Yeah. Um, where Boring. but in the same same breath it's. I want to sit down on this day bed and read a book. Yeah. And you can yeah, do absolutely. that when the boat's trimmed yes. nicely. I'll just, I'll just perhaps stop country. this conversation for a second because when Al and Cindy were buying this boat, I'll just get the feel here. When they were buying this boat, Janet and I uh, paddled past here and said to Al, how's his boat? And he said he just wanted a bookshelf. That's all he wanted. I mean, I think you got more than a bookshelf, mate. Yeah, yeah. He, didn't have room on, he didn't have room on the last boat for a bookshelf. I think there's plenty of room. You can have 10 bookshelves in this yeah. thing. There is a nice yeah. bookshelf. That, that's Al's downstairs. dream is a bookshelf. My dreams have a cat like this. His dreams a bookshelf. I think there's something wrong with the priorities here. <laughs> it's only a little bookshelf. Yeah, well, I hope you've got a bookshelf. Well, I haven't seen it. It's behind the desk. Oh, okay, that, good. That yeah, he has got a bookshelf. Let's just clean that up. It is. It's one of my favourite features. Funny. <laughs> But, it's um, the one thing that's stuck in my mind though about you is that, like this man that sailed around the world and family on yachts and you just wanted a bookshop. You didn't care about a 60 yacht. Well, that's yacht. what we were missing on our other boat. So. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm sure you're not missing anything on this thing. It's absolutely yeah. gorgeous. It's yeah. beautiful. No, it's good. We're pretty happy. No, I think that sounds like a great nice. plan. Well, I'm sure that, uh, you know, if anyone out there is interested, I'm going to put a link to Alan Cindy's website, which is global... Global Projects Yachting. Global Projects Yachting, which and encompasses, you know, Al and Cindy's experience. And uh, I think just click on that and then get in contact with Al through um, through email or whatever, because seriously, I've known this guy a long time and this couple are a classic. You'll have a ball with these guys. I'm very jealous for anyone who can get, this, to get a chance at this, because uh, I want to do it as well. Yeah. Well, we're working out our schedule, so they might, that week is probably there for you. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> that oh, week no, 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 <laughs> And the yeah. USOs would be nice. I don't oh, care where it is. I think so. I think the USOs yeah. are going to be nice. No, that well, sounds absolutely brilliant. Uh, Tonga is lovely too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fiji. Yeah, nice. Mm. Nice. yeah, so there's room there for people to be involved for ocean crossing yep. um, or spend a bit of time island cruising. Yeah, you know, nice. between, you know, you can get on a yeah. main island of Tonga and sail through some yeah, of those smaller right. groups. So you've got, a week a, you've or got two. options. You don't just yeah. have yeah. a. You yeah, don't just have a sitting at anchor for a week. No, well, but mind no, you, if the weather holds either, out, that could be nice. Well, that's too, nice yeah. too. And you go yeah. for a swim or paddleboarding yeah, yeah, or snorkeling, yeah. and that will meet some people, and yeah, um, yeah. or yes. go to a village. You know, there's a lot. There's always something going on. Yeah. And um, and yeah. what that gives you though, those little and little trips in an island group, for example, or yeah. five anchorages over seven yeah. nights or something. Yeah, nice. You, you're picking up your anchor, yeah. you're setting your anchor, yeah, you're right. piloting through coral. Yeah, which is essential experience. You're passage planning oh, every is. leg. It, it might is. be a 20 mile leg, but you've still got to look at yep. your weather, you've got to look at your routing yeah. and consider all of those Sounds elements. Sounds like a full time job. Well, it kind of is. It is, yeah, it, it is. is. And that's what sailing time. is. Certainly I think there's a night. misconception that you sail and you're not working. That's actually, oh, no, you know, it's yes. hard work sailing. Well, it's not yeah. hard work. It's actually, it's it's the it's life of, of sailing. Well, and I find, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of thinking Yeah, it involved. would be, yeah. Project management. And yes, so. yeah. what? Yeah. And I find I'm concentrating all the time. You're yeah. focused the whole time because 
for the whole time there's those all here's this boat that's comfortably moving through the ocean mm. beautifully but around it there's all these other factors that you yeah. can't control yeah so you've got to manage your your space yeah, yeah. and be ready if things change oh, totally. without yeah. being all burdened by the fact yeah. that it is going to your wind will lift or shift yeah. you know and, and while um, still enjoying that wonderful moment of being at sea yeah. and enjoying that wow. isolation and the peaceful That's what Cindy loves, this time on the water. Yep. Yes, and this time out, it allows you to just slow It's a break from normal, think, isn't it? Oh, I, 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 like huge. those sea kayaking trips that I run, I run them pretty much all over the world. And yeah. and the provisioning and all of the planning and the route planning and everything, I love it when my yes. clients get involved with me in it. Yes. Rather than me just being responsible. I wake up in the morning and run yeah. around. Oh. I, I don't want to be responsible. I love it. When they're involved, they're actually more engaged. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And they get more value out of the team. Totally. Exactly. Yeah, if you're participating yes. and, and have that energy mm -hmm. level, that it, it lifts you up too, doesn't yeah, it? Well, it you know, yeah, it me through um, yeah, eight yeah. days in the rain yeah. in northern Canada. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, you, you won't know, have to paddle this one. No, I don't mind the paddling. I'm happy to paddle. But yeah, I mean, yeah. eight days in the rain in Canada, you're trying to, to, to motivate people to get up and get moving. And sometimes that can be a bit of a challenge. So yeah, I, just like, oh, I, I rely on everybody else to point yeah. me up. And, and, yeah. and that's what the whole experience is, isn't it? It's just, it's all about adventure. Yeah. Yes. But it's a mitigated yes. risk. And we're hoping, like, even if we could get a couple who were willing to take that risk and do an ocean passage, yeah. like New Zealand up to Fiji. What an experience. Or Tonga. The first or Tonga. Is, yeah, it yeah, would yeah. just Tonga. be remarkable. Oh, yeah. It would be on a brand new a boat, too, a life, which is just... A lifetime. Yep. Mm. Yeah, no, that's absolutely superb. Great. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I've had three beers. I don't really know what I'm saying now. No. You need a cup of tea, Ross. No, I'm all good. I'm, I'm eyeing up these chocolates here. I'm trying to slim down a bit. A bit more, each other. I can't put my Oh, that in ginger there. from Vietnam, that's just wicked. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's what good. a great night. I've had a ball. Yeah, this has no, been a lot really fun. nice night. Thanks for coming on board, Ross. Oh, my pleasure. No, that sounds like a great plan. I mean, you've got the most beautiful boat. I mean, I paddle past it every day. Yeah, wow. It is a, a formidable looking thing in the river when you it kind of, it, 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 it's a it's a stealthy looking it's a beautiful craft. the beauty of it it's, it's a big boat it's only a forty footer forty one yeah. footer yeah. but it's um it's kind of a a big boat without being cumbersome no um and the great. beauty of the design is it's got a lot of bridge deck clearance yep. so it's pretty good in chop yeah. or in waves so you don't have all that hull slapping yeah. Yeah. but the even so the visibility is wonderful though. Yeah, you can yep. you can be sitting on the back um, settee, the back day yeah. bed, and you can see. I can't full I can't believe the, the, the it's panorama. Great. It's got it seems yeah. to just have more yeah. light than anything I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and it's good. And it's well, it's a lot not of that it's boats. pitch dark outside, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whereas no, this that's one you can actually yeah. see. Yeah, so that's a benefit of the sea yeah. wind is the visibility. Yeah. But it's kind of got low bows, so it doesn't yeah. have the high windage of yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, say a larger hull shape. Yeah, yeah. And what that does it keeps the boat true to its design very okay. from being a sailing yeah, vessel. Yeah, it is a sail boat. It's, it's a sail it's, boat. It was always designed it's as a sail boat. Like the whole that's range yeah. is, is a sail mm. vessel. Yeah, it's and, not a... and, so, and it does that on, the, you know, you can tell when you're sailing it, it's not clunky. Mm. The design, the 1260, Seawind 1260 is the um, Cruising World Boat of the oh, Year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best sure. catamaran under 50 feet. Wow. And yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's that's, a, and given there's a lot out there now, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there is a lot of different, a lot, a lot of options, options and a lot of a lot of valid options. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for us, this was the most valid. Oh, for and, sure. Um, but and others are great too. We've sailed up. Yeah. We've sailed oh, you've sailed. Lots around. of others, yeah. and they're all great. Yeah. Um, they are. No, I just I love the layout of this. I mean, having another couple on board and, and just limiting it that to not having a party boat is, is yeah, no, totally we don't, different. Don't like yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a definitely a more private experience on this yeah. boat than I've seen on other boats. Yeah. And yes. I think that's the thing with, with just four of you on on board would really make a big difference. Well then everybody's involved. Yeah. You get to well, deal with all choice, aspects of the of the boat, mm. so watch keeping and helming, well, and, and oh, you also good. get your own private cabin, your private yeah. head, yeah. Uh, your yeah. private bathroom. Yeah, that's a winner, especially for Al, apparently. <laughs> oh, I go there. <laughs> yes, yeah, I can all... share. <laughs> Don't want to share too much with me, mate. Everyone knows. Whatever's yeah, set, on, know whatever's what set on the mould ends up around the world in like five seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Oh, what a great night. Thanks, yeah. guys. I appreciate you having me. You know, it was uh, 
It's good. I mean, I catch up every every Sunday night. I walk my dog down to the boat maybe We catch them while they're trying to finish up for the day. And it's always good to sit down for a couple of hours and have a chat. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than when the pressure's on, they're trying to get home oh, for the night yes. and relax. Yeah. yeah.